Colleagues, uh, I have some real problems since we are late for half an hour and I have the real problem that one of the speakers, Professor Rolf Hoyer, has to leave sharply at a quarter to a one. So okay. I quarter after one. Yes, okay, otherwise he had already to, had, must have already left. Uh, so I can only ask you, please take your seat. And what I have already uh, asked Mrs. Rux, uh, Ruxander Dari, well, Dagli, 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 uh, is that uh, we change a little bit uh, uh, the order so that uh, Rolf Hoyer can start. I will give only some very short preliminary uh, insight so that we can, can manage more or less the situation. And uh, I hope that nevertheless we will have then a lively discussion about research infrastructures. So more or less you all have taken your seats. Thank you very much and welcome to this session. Let me just start with some remarks and I will be really short. Uh, research infrastructures are one of the most important pillars of the research of the European research area. <coughs> you may not be astonished that I say this in, with this way, in this way. Research infrastructures are necessary to enable scientists to do excellent research on an international competitive way or more simply, excellent researchers need excellent research infrastructures. Many respondents to the questionnaire believe that open access to research infrastructures will increase the excellency of research. Open access is a necessary ingredient for the development of the European research area. Some of the research organizations in Europe which have provided a written contribution to the consultative process urge the member states and the Commission to realize as much research infrastructures on the SP roadmap, SP roadmap as possible. On the SP roadmap are 48 projects, 10 of which are already in the implementation phase. <coughs> The Competitive Council has given to S3 the task to implement 65% of the projects on the roadmap by 2015. This is a real challenge. Some research organizations um, in responding to the questionnaires request also for a better cooperation between existing research infrastructures, mostly national ones, and new ones, especially on the S3 roadmap. Although the, need, although the need for a more even distribution of research infrastructures all over Europe was stressed, S3 will cope with that request by providing regional partner facilities. These are national or regional facilities which closely cooperate with a single-sided S3 facility or with a node or several nodes of distributed S3 research infrastructures. This cooperation should, should help to develop the knowledge and to gain experience how to set up and operate research infrastructure. The Area Forum members have declared to be fully open for the participation of scientists from the newer member states and from the convergent uh, area. This might also help to go forward in this direction. Many respondents mentioned that there is a need for better data handling, storage, dissemination, exploitation. Especially in the life sciences, huge data sets emerge nowadays. To deal with that issue, S3 and ERRG, the e-infrastructure reflection group, have developed a close cooperation and we have established a cross-participation in our working groups. ERRG is helping S3 by clustering specific S3 projects to enable them to use adequate processes for handling, for data sampling, storage, data security and so on. A specific problem are data in the medical research area due to the fact that many of them are patient dependent and therefore an open usage is not really possible and sometimes also forbidden. 
legally forbidden. So this is something where we had also to look more closely in. One problem, which was also very often addressed, deals with the portability of pension rights of researchers. Here, a European-wide regulation is needed. But I would like to stop here with my introductory remark and give the floor to Rolf Hoyer, and we are very much interested in getting his view and the view of Euroforum. Thank you very much. I can introduce very shortly, Rolf Hoyer is the Director General of CERN, the largest European research organization and one of the largest in the world.